there's two different records. I yeah, if you count it by the Utes versus if you count it by the BYU. It's 58 to 34 or 50. 55 to 32. To 32, something like that. Yeah. I think the U is going to do really well because Taysom's going to get hurt. Um, <laughs> he always does. He's a BYU fan. BYU is going to win because we have a great quarterback that has survived so many leg injuries. Uh, I have both red and blue in my hair, which makes purple, which nobody cares about. <laughs> I like that we won the last game before that ended, but most of all I like to keep in mind that there were Y football players that had to graduate having never beat Utah. So that was pretty funny that they, they just didn't get to. Um, I, I went to BYU, my wife went to BYU, um, all of my brothers and sisters went to BYU, so I'm, I'm a BYU fan uh, and, my, and my parents. Actually, I've got a, a Utah State brother in there, but I mean, whatever. BYU fans always say that their blood runs blue. False. Your blood is red. Always. <laughs> no. There was just this really weird tradition at BYU where they would saran wrap all the statues every fall. I didn't know what that was about until after I had finished school and then I realized there was a rivalry and I'm like, oh, so that's why they did that. They were always afraid that um, U of U fans would come over and like spray paint or trash the statues. Well, actually, uh, my alma mater is Utah State University. So, go Aggies! Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> my wife is out of town with our girls, so it's just my son and I, so we're gonna watch the game together and it's gonna be a bros game. There is in elementary, middle school, and high school, everybody was always like opposite sides, and I was always stuck in the middle because I had like no opinion. <laughs> So I was just chose one based on whoever was around me. I was like, yeah, totally, BYU for sure. And then the next day I was a youth fan. It was just, <laughs> that's the only thing I really remember because I wasn't involved. You know, the biggest thing that I love about it is all the hype kind of leading up to it from both sides. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, just hearing everybody kind of bat banter back and forth, some bashing, um, good natured most of it, some of it not, <laughs> not so much. But um, I think the, the, my, my favorite moment was the, um, when I was, I think it was, must have been 2006, the uh, across the body from John Beck to, her from Beck to Johnny Harleen, all the way over there in the corner end zone. That was awesome. Like, that, was, that cemented my future as a BYU student, if it hadn't been already. My mother-in-law actually gets, we get a lot of conflict going. Um, she was on the University of Utah's Crimson Line and is a die-hard Y fan. I think it's a terrible, terrible thing, but it gets a little heated sometimes. Uh, Underfulfilled Jake Heaps was the quarterback, and he threw so many interceptions that the next day at Arby's, they put up on the sign, bring your BYU ticket and get a free turnover. Uh, it, was, it was the best, worst moment of my BYU fandom life. I support the University of Utah. I have a house divided because my husband, unfortunately, is a BYU fan, even though he goes to the U. I told Grandpa Carter as I was leaving him the other day that uh, I was gonna tell my husband, go Utes from him, and he said, tell them, or tell Trent, that I said they can go to I think that U of U fans are classier because I live near BYU and I don't like how the games cause traffic jams. The worst fans on the U side, they're the ones that when they travel to Provo, during the prayer, they bring those blow horns and then they shout, uh, like, that's garbage. And then you have the BYU fans who really don't know anything about football, but they're the loudest. That's the worst. And the worst part about those fans is when you hear, another cougar, first down. <laughs> who has the more obnoxious fans? Utah has the more obnoxious fans. They're kind of all over the place. They're rowdy and they're, they're, they're just rude often. Um, and BYU's fans try to stay a little bit more classy, I think, but I might be biased. I, I think they're equally unclassy, uh, just for different reasons. So if you ever drive in California, people cut you off because they're assholes. If you drive in Utah, people cut you off because they're ignorant. 
They don't even notice you exist. It's kind of the same way with BYU and Utah fans. Utah fans are drunk and therefore obnoxious. BYU fans are just childish and therefore obnoxious. But they're both obnoxious at the end of the day. I hate them both. I hate all of the fans in this rivalry. This is like the worst week to be on Facebook because like the BYU people are like, we're the only ones that ever won a national championship. And then uh, the U fans are like, scoreboard last five years, you know. Um, but the thing that I hate w the most about the U fans is like the getting over being the little brother to BYU in Utah. And now they're the big kid on the block. And like their crowning achievement was getting into the Pac-12, man. So for like five years after they got into the Pac-12, you, you couldn't tell if they were a U fan or they were just a fan of the Pac-12 for some dumb reason because they got Pac-12 stickers plastered all over everything. But frankly, BYU would be happy to be accepted in any of the Power Five conferences. If you're out there listening, um, please let us in. I mean, from someone who doesn't even watch football, um, I'm gonna say it's gonna be like 54 to zero BYU. I think Utah will definitely take it, but it won't be by much. <laughs> Somewhere in the neighborhood of 28-32 um, BYU. It's gonna be a close game this year, but the U is probably gonna come out for a seventh year. Sixth, seventh, eighth, twentieth, I don't know. 45 to 32. Utes. BYU gets the first touchdown, Utes win the game.